Population growth is estimated to grow about 1% every year. And feeding this growing population has become more and more challenging. You know, over the years, it has been proven that our traditional method of farming is very harmful since we have been constantly practicing deforestation along the line. And we know that this deforestation has greatly contributed to the severe climate change we are facing right now. And in addition to that, our farming system has led to consistent soil degradation, making it more and more difficult for us to have good yields. And we know that the difficulty for us having more and more yields has actually pushed us into more dangerous practices to nature and to we, the humans, as well. And while trying to fix that, we've gone to the extent of using fertilizers, pesticides, and many more in a bid to change our eminent doom. And not only we've tempered with our health and environment, and to crown it all, we've even lost one third of our arable land over the last 40 years. So given the fact that our former and current agricultural practices have been proven harmful, we therefore have a problem at hand that we definitely need to solve as soon as possible. So as an entrepreneur and the goal getter that you are, this is actually a business opportunity for you to hop on. And as you must have guessed, we are talking here of vertical farming, which is to me the future of modern agriculture. So please go get us i would love you to pay close attention to every detail in this video for i wouldn't love you to take this for granted and hey don't be scared should be told it's quite expensive but not as expensive as you might think so please don't get scared you know as any other business you could always start from somewhere so if you are interested already it might interest you to know that the market size of global vertical farming in 20 2022 was valued to 5.1 billion dollars and is predicted to reach 40 billion dollars by 2032 and by 2050 about 80 percent of the world's population will be living in urban areas therefore the increase of the demand for food stuff so what is vertical farming all about it's simply the growing of crops vertically in stacked layers that is the growing of plants with no soil at all you might be raising eyebrows and feeling that this is something supernatural or far-fetched or very alienated but hey permit me to let you know that this isn't a new practice at all. Though the technology looks very advanced and maybe seems far-fetched to you, vertical farming is actually far from being a new concept. It might intrigue you to know that the first ever vertical farms are dating back to the ancient city of Babylon 2,500 years back. They were referred to as the Babylonian Hanging Gardens. So like most things in the fashion industry, it has just come back to life. So the vertical farming revolves all around things like the hydroponics, aquaponics, and aeroponics. So if you are wondering what all these are, hey, rest assured, for I've got you covered as always, all right? So I am going to be detailing to you what all of this is all about. But before we do that, hey, go get us. Please do well to always like our videos. For us, I always tell you that's the only way you could indicate to YouTube that we are doing something great. So please do that right now and endeavor to share this video at the end if you found value in it. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the membership for we are about to start uploading exclusive content content on there that you wouldn't want to miss for anything. So now let's start with the hydroponic technique used in the vertical farming system. This is the simplest method, all right? It is a method in which the roots of the plants are submerged into a solution composed of water and nutrients. So this is the most practiced method because it is more affordable than the others. Now, let's go to the second method, which is the aeroponics. This is also the growing of plants without soil. But in this method, the roots are suspended in the air and irrigated with a nutrient-dense mist. This second method 
method is also practiced very well, but compared to the first method, it is a little bit pricier. Let's now go to the third method, which is basically the combination of the hydroponic system, which I talked about earlier, and aquaculture. Yeah, if you know of aquaculture, we are talking of raising of fish, right? We are talking of fish growing in water. So this system is basically the combination of the two. So how does it go? So like I said, this is the combination of the hydroponic system and the aquaculture system. That is, the plants and the fish are grown to Together alongside. So in simple terms, we are going to be stating that this is the cultivation of plants in water. Basically what happens is the plant is literally using the rich nutrients of the fish water to grow. So as you must have guessed, this is the most expensive system of vertical farming because you are spending what the aquaculture farmers will be spending alongside what the hydroponic or aeroponic farmers will be spending. So this is going to cost you too much more obviously but the advantage you have is that you are equally going to be having healthier plants than your competitors now you are interested right where can you actually practice vertical farming it's going to be practiced in variety of places like greenhouses shipping containers warehouses rooftops and even skyscrapers but the thing is there are lots of parameters to take into consideration because it actually requires requires a controlled amount of artificial temperature, water, humidity, and light. And here you go, get us, take note that all these aspects are to be respected because one mistake could bring about huge losses just as it happens with our traditional farming during floods or drought. That said, let's look at some of the advantages of vertical farming. The first advantage of vertical farming, which is crystal clear, is the fact that it is environmentally friendly. This is because it prevents deforestation and promotes resource recycling like water and also avoids chemical usage. So vertical farming is very environmentally friendly because you don't have to struggle with eliminating insects or pests, thereby using no chemicals like I said. And you know food grown without any chemicals is always the best. That leads us to the next advantage which is the fact that it is safer and healthier yes workers involved in vertical farming are often well protected before stepping into the area to avoid any contamination they would wear protective clothes and shoes gloves and you name it just to make sure that the environment is as pure as possible let's go to the next advantage which is one of the best advantages of vertical farming it is the fact that they use less water and land imagine how much you would have spent to buy your farmland alone talk less of providing irrigation during dry seasons you would obviously need hectares and hectares of land right and imagine if you wanted to provide irrigation for your farm during dry seasons you would obviously be spending huge sums on sophisticated irrigation systems if there is no natural water in proximity to your farm isn't it wonderful that with the vertical farming system you would be using nine nine percent less land and 90 percent less water and to crown it all by doing that you would actually be yielding 90 percent more food isn't that wonderful spending 99 percent less land and 90 percent less water to yield 90 percent more food what else could we ask from the universe the next advantage of the vertical farming is the fact that it has an all-year production it is going to be solving the seasonal problem we face in africa you know what i am talking about i am talking about the seasonal availability of fresh fruits and vegetables that we often suffer from in africa yeah with the vertical farming all of this is going to end we are going to be sure to eat fresh fruits and vegetables all the time now the next advantage is little dependency on weather and climate with the vertical farming the plants aren't affected by weather since they rely on artificial temperature and the use of controlled environment agriculture provides the plants with appropriate conditions for growth making them produce high yields all of these makes vertical farming unlike what people would think much more easier because you don't have to struggle 
struggle with adjusting to different temperatures, extreme heat, extreme sunlight, extreme rainfall or extreme cold and so on and so forth. So now that I've briefed you on basically everything you need to know about vertical farming, you might as well be thinking of the fact that is it going to completely replace our traditional farming method or how are things going to unfold? But what I can tell you for now is that vertical farming obviously has an advantage over the traditional farming because of the reasons I gave. But then the traditional farming to an extent still has its place because there are certain crops that can't do well in the vertical farming farming so those crops are still going to be cultivated traditionally that is with the soil right so for the sake of our environment and other factors in the next years we are going to be prioritizing vertical farming but at the same time traditional or soil farming will still be necessary so here are the crops that will be majorly grown using the vertical farming method so we are talking here of things like herbs leafy greens and micro greens so the most appropriate things are baby shoots of things like salad vegetables yeah things like celery rocket spinach beetroot and many more so things that would be difficult to grow in the vertical method are things like tubers cereals but some people have tried cereals in the recent years yeah in singapore for example rice has been tested in the vertical farming and it's doing pretty well so maybe along the line we are going to be discovering more and more crops that could be grown in the vertical farming method but as of now the main things are leafy greens microgreens and herbs now at this point of the video if you found value please do well to share this video for i believe that i have edified you enough on vertical farming so if you want to save africa and humanity as a whole please do well to consider investing in a vertical farm in africa for like i said it is going to be solving the great seasonal problem that africans in particular are facing we can't go without thanking our lovely subscribers who've been supporting the channel in one way or another that said thanks for watching this video as i will see you on my next one